Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the 15th episode from season 11 from The Walking Dead. This is actually the episode before the last one so we're getting to an end. Uh, at least before the mid-season break. I just had the most amazing weekend and I'm still kinda yeah, enjoying it right now because so many amazing things happened. I went to Comic Con and I had the best time ever. Uh, Saturday I was cosplaying as Dolores from Westworld and on Sunday I was uh, cosplaying Ray from Ghostbusters uh, and it was just so amazing. You can still see some of my haul behind me but I'm still uh, trying to find a place for it. Um, I actually think I have to bring the pops back to my parents' house because that's where all the other 300 pops are. So <laughs> I don't want to separate them from the rest. But yeah, I had such an amazing weekend and I met so many cool people and it was just so amazing. And then the day after I was really sad because, well, after con dip and it was so amazing and then you have to go back to the real world. But then I realized we were getting a new Walking Dead episode and that kind of made it better because I'm really excited to see how this continues and how it ends. So yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm, I get to watch it today. Um, so at least there's still something. I also went, went into this little Walking Dead museum at Comic Con and there were uh, actual props from the show. So that was also really cool. Yeah, I just had an amazing weekend and I can't get over it. In the previous episode we actually saw that they helped those people uh, who were being, well, killed by the Commonwealth. And actually threw that dude off a building, that was nice, and he kind of got what he deserved. But then in the end, uh... Oh, and, and the thing with Sebastian, and then Lance appeared to know about it, and it was just all sorts of messed up things. Uh, but now we're going to see how it continues. And if you already want to see the final episode from The Walking Dead, from this um, part of the season, that's possible. You can check out my Patreon, the link is in the description, and you can find it on there. You can also find all of The Walking Dead reactions uncut. Uh, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. And uh, now I'm going to react to this episode. So let's go. Oh, so we're... Oh, so we're back here again. They start this episode the same way as last time. But now... Daryl is there? Oh, okay. Now they're finding them. Why is he never wearing his suit? Uh, his armor? Isn't that like a requirement for joining their army? It's not a good look. It's all of us in Paris. Armored soldiers, the one armed guy and the priest. Then the killers escaped, he drove up, and here we are. That's your story. It's basically it. And this. Damn. <laughs> That's what they say happened. That's what happened. Thank you, Daryl. It also doesn't make sense for the two of you to lie to protect a bunch of crazy violent strangers. Unless they weren't strangers. I'm not going to take the fall for this. You tell him, Gabriel. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers here. I just got a job to do. Fair enough. This monster's going to lose me. He's smoking up. Start with the hilltop. See if our friends heard anything. At the very least, they should know there's some very dangerous people who might be coming their way. Better suit up, soldier. Oh, they got together. Nice, I shipped them. I should know I've had a lot of sex in my life. <laughs> Wait, you know what? We're both adults. I've had a lot of sex, and you've had a lot of sex. I love listening to you talk. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You even need sleep? Because every time I roll over, you're just lying there staring at the ceiling. I think you're a part robot. No <laughs> sleep. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This show turned into Westworld already. But if there was anything you needed to get off your chest, all I'm saying is that contrary to popular opinion, I'm pretty freaking great at listening. I said goodbye. <laughs> Again. So there is something wrong. What's he doing now? I thought it would be beneficial, given your position as a truth-telling news person, to... Mm. Yeah, and she also said she had two children, no, so like it's so fucked up that two children lost their mother because Maybe of something like that. We need inside access to dig it out. I might know someone. Max. Is Carol taking them to school. Good 
today, young friend. I never promptly thanked you. You don't have to thank me. I do. Want something extra for this time I've been given? You think this place would make life easier, huh? Feels like there's a lot more grades so. Yeah, but we kind of knew okay. that from the beginning, yeah, didn't we? You're getting healthy again. You suck with me. Guess I can live with that. Sometimes I think they might get back together, but then on the other hand, I don't know if that's like where they want to go with this. So I don't know, but it would be nice. Why don't you two take care of this? Are you serious? Good to see you ammunition. I was told you handle yourselves. Where's the problem? What the fuck? Now, of course, he wants them to prove themselves. I mean, I'm sure they can, but no need to be an asshole. <laughs> yes, Lance, we're talking about. It's still alive? Oh no, okay. You go, Daryl. That guy is such a psychopath. You can just see it in his eyes. Barely broke a sweat. Oh, now they're going to the communities. Okay. This is a bad time. This is about a friend of mine. She's sick and can't afford the treatment. Take care of it outside the system. Or it won't. Sorts of procedure. Who is this about? I lost a patient this morning. Hmm. <laughs> what is he doing now? Just a humble delivery boy. Just a humble delivery boy. This involves the mountains. Young psychopath, at least. You're there, Maggie. Good to see you again. What do you want? This is the part. For the paperwork. I got you my answer. What the fuck is his problem? What does he want? If she says they're not there, they're not there. Well, that's not true, but. Well, not. It doesn't have to be this way. Yeah. It does. <laughs> oh my god, now we're finally seeing this in context. I'm asking you to trust him. I'm asking you to trust me. Actually, it seems a lot less traumatic than the first time we saw it without any context. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's quite logical because we didn't know anything, but it looked very threatening. I don't really think he has a choice. I mean, they're so powerful. What if I disappear? <laughs> There's actually a poster of him in the what background. Damn. They listen to you. They look up to you. Literally. Maybe you are really just a poster. She does have a point. I mean, of course he's not like too powerful and, and there are a lot of more people around him who actually rule the place. But he could do something. He has some power. Like a little bit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's going so well. <laughs> nice truck. You know we found tire tracks in the scene. Not a lot of cars running these days. You say it looks good. I hate his face more and more. It's like almost as annoying as Sebastian. Tell him, Maggie. I can be alone from here. Thanks for the description. <laughs> we already pulled you out of work. What's a few more minutes? Cute. Oh, <laughs> just a little pony walking there. Oh. Is there multiple people? Okay. Hmm. So he's trying to good, do good things for humanity. I miss the pink. I want to apologize. Good, Mercer. Because you are being a dick. That might put out this little safety. Carefree, one times five. But I can't handle heavy stuff too. 
killed two of my men and I covered it up. Now my parents raised me, I'll do it again. I honestly didn't realize that was the thing that was keeping him awake. But it does make sense now. But he looked so cool while he was doing it. How are you going to respond to that? <laughs> Again, didn't think we'd see Herschel this episode, but he just had this confrontation with Negan, which was very emotional and... Hey. Oh no! Herschel, right? Taking any exciting trips lately? Oh my god. How about your mom? The last thing I want, Herschel, is for something to happen here. Especially your mom. You're really gonna try to use the if kid now? True. So I want you to think really hard here. Is there anything you want to tell me? He's not stupid. A good kid. He really just right. came creeping out of the basement. The thing about good kids is... It is your presence. I found this hat all the way back with the bad things happening. Huh. I'll be damned. Perfect fit. Would it be odd? Oh. This is so messed up. I'm a nice guy, man. I love how Dow are still having their back. You go, girl. You turn this place upside down and found nothing. So unless you want to die for nothing, time to drop the guns before something really fucking bad happens. Everyone lower your weapons. That's an order. Good. I mean, Maggie doesn't take any shit, especially not when it's about her family, so you better know that. Sorry if there was any miscommunication. Well, what I said, it was good to see that Daryl still had her back because in the part we just saw, we watched, which we also saw in the first episode, it really looked like they had turned against each other. So it was really good for me to see that that was actually not the case because that's one of the things that really scared me. I was so scared that was going to happen. I was so hoping for that, I was like, please kiss yeah. now, and then she was like, you know, we're not getting back together, right? <laughs> I don't like this. Also, like um, hospital TV shows, just no, no. <laughs> okay. See, it's nice. Small procedure, nothing to worry about. Regret my earlier ambush. It was mighty uncool of me. <laughs> If the stuff Mighty you uncool. is happening because of that, things have to change. I can't wait around for someone else to step up and help. I can promise you this. I'll be by your side, hell or high water. It's all the odds of the cosmos and humankind we found one another. I've never been more certain of anything in my life. Yay! <laughs> Finally! Are good things going to happen for him now? For once? No, I need to steal. <laughs> Leia. Hmm, I really hope maybe it would just be Daryl who found her, but this is not too good. We're here to talk. The least you can do is hear what I have to say before you kill us. Tough oh, pets. My name is Lance Hornby, and I'm here to offer you a job. 
I knew it. I fucking knew it. Why is it always his go-to thing? <sighs> fucking hell. It's not gonna end until I end it. I'm doing this my way. Mid-season finale. No, I got my killed. Looks exciting. Okay, so that was the episode. <laughs> Holy shit. It was interesting. And what I mostly think was interesting that we finally saw that one part. Um which at first really scared me in the first episode of this part of the season when we saw Daryl and Maggie across each other. <laughs> I was just so fucking scared because I just knew that, like, well, I thought they were going to be enemies. And I thought Daryl switched sides and I was like, this is not Daryl, this is so out of character. But then it appeared that he never switched side because literally when that guy was threatening Herschel, Daryl was right there pointing his gun at Lance, as he should. So, um, yeah. I'm glad about that. Okay, first of all, Mercer and Princess got together. I really like that because uh, I kind of shipped them. They're they were this really hot couple, and um, people were rooting for them, and it happened. So good. Mercer had some demons though because uh, he killed the two guys, and he said that he would do it again, even though that's not the guy he is or wants to be. And like I said, I didn't even realize like that was actually the thing that. Uh, was keeping up him up at night. I thought that was just like, I mean, he looked so cool when he actually shot them Like he didn't really care. I mean the guys did Some bad shit and they were so rude. So I thought okay, they get what was coming for them But when you think about it, okay, it's, it's kind of heavy when you shoot two of your own people, of course Well, also Max and Eugene, they had a cute moment in the end um, So maybe you will also get more out of that uh, And she's agreed to help him now um, and then Carol and Ezekiel, I was mostly rooting for them. Well, wow, a lot of ships happening in this episode, but not all in different directions actually. But yeah, Carol just said, you know, we're never gonna get together again. So we're gonna respect that. <laughs> I think it just, it's, it's after everything that happened, it must be too hard for her and I get that. But it's still kind of sad because I always like them together. Yeah, then Lance's storyline. I know he doesn't believe Aaron and Gabriel and I was trying to make them all do all sorts of stupid stuff to actually like prove themselves and luckily that's going well for now and then they went to maggie to hilltop and yeah the shit he's pulling it's just i don't know how someone's getting away with this why is no one doing it i mean that pamela why, why is she not doing anything i mean she's seeing this right yeah i just have a feeling like this guy's getting more fucked up every episode i mean his face is just changing in this way like he goes from Kind of a normal but annoying dude to a literal psychopath and I think it's only gonna get worse. When he literally crawled out of the basement and then like threatened the child, I was like, what the frick? <laughs> Leave the child alone. So that was kind of weird. At first I thought we were gonna see Herschel, like maybe he was thinking something about Negan, about the conversation they had or... You, yeah, I think he actually visited his dad, dad's grave that were the stones, I think, but I'm not sure. Uh, so I thought it had something to do with that. And then just Lance just came out of the basement creeping. <laughs> so <laughs> it was really creepy. But yeah, for me, it kind of seems like Lance is going to do anything he can to like get what he wants right now. Um, he always does that. And now he offered Leia a deal. So um, I don't know uh, where this is going, but... I'm quite excited for the mid-season finale. I'm excited to see where it's headed. So, yeah. Is there anything else to discuss? I don't think so. Yeah, of course, you had the storyline with Ezekiel and the patient. And yeah. It, I mean, it was nice of him. But it felt kind of like a filler. Because, yeah, he's doing nice things with his life now. Good. <laughs> but yeah, I think I discussed the most important moments. I'm kind of excited to see Leia back. And see, um, yeah, what will happen if she reunites with Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that was my reaction. Like I said, if you already want to see the next one, check out my Patreon. Uh, then I hope you like this one. Did you then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I really hope to see you next time. Bye!